Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A crazy day yesterday with a lot of information about FIFA 23, but we still are focused on footies, and we have a thought about maybe what week two of footies could look like. Instead of it being a league focus, could it actually be based around a nation instead? And that's where we're thinking after the voting that we had yesterday. I want to take a look at the five-star skill nominees that we had, Pato, Cabral, and Rafinha. Talk about those cards, who could potentially win, and whose SBC we could even see on Friday. Of course, it is 85 times 10 re and up day, re up, I guess you could call it, right? The 85 times 10 is going to be repeatable one more time today on Thursday. That's going to be a big piece of content. And of course, we will take a look at what I think will happen on this game because of that. Heading into tomorrow, a footies batch number two. We don't have a lot of leaks apart from the ones that we spoke about in yesterday's video, but we do have a new season today as well. And I think that could impact some things as there's actually a good amount of like glitches and things wrong. With this game at the moment and we're hoping that especially for foot champs qualifiers that are glitched right now you may not know this and maybe it's impacted you hopefully that today with the new season starting that will kind of erase those but i also think that it could create some more problems because a lot of times when the season has reset there have been more problems that come instead of the other way around. So we'll talk about all that in today's video and more. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look at why we think this next week of footies might not be based on a league. We were trying to think earlier in the week based off the leaks, what league, Bundesliga, La Liga, we might need to change our thinking, right? Last week was just based around the Premier League. We had the Premier League Cup. We had Premier League cards in the Dynamic Duo. We had the um, Havertz. We had the Luis Diaz that were in the votes for the five-star weak foot. Now, after yesterday and combining that with the Dynamic Duo leak that we have upcoming, we are thinking that it might not be a league that's coming this next week as the focus, but it might be a nation and it might be Brazil. All three players in the voting yesterday were Brazilians, Pato, Cabral, and Rafinha. Now, there's a couple things to think about with these three cards. First of all, great options, right? I think these are pretty cool options. The winner or the two winners of these SBC voting uh, will get SBCs that will be five-star skills. Now, Pato has already had a card this FIFA. He has had the flashback item that was dropped. When was it dropped? In January. So it's been a while since he had this card. Pretty good item in the game. He is. He does have MLS links, but he still is Brazilian, and people absolutely love this card earlier on in the year. Five-star skills on this card would be incredible, and I'm sure that EA would do the business with a really solid upgrade for him. Um, he does have some nice traits. He's got a finesse shot trait and speed dribbler. Maybe they could add one more in there if they would like to. I really feel like Pato might be one of the two winners. I think he'll be the second winner. I think the person that is going to get an SBC on Friday, though, purely because of the links that the card has and... I mean, he could be pretty good in game, is Rafinha. I think Rafinha is 100% going to win this vote and will probably be getting an SBC Friday. Now, here is the issue and a little bit of the unknown that we have this with this Rafinha card. So, Rafinha started off the year with a PSG item. He was on PSG in the winter transfer window. He was loaned to Real Sociedad. And this is creating a little bit of confusion because technically he is back at PSG now after his loan has ended. But since his Real Sociedad card is the one that is in packs right now, we're really wondering which version of Rafinha would EA drop in the game. Did they mess up yesterday by using his PSG card when it actually would have to be his Real Sociedad? I don't know because they haven't been doing a lot of transfer cards in this game right now um, or cards that have come back from loan. Like we haven't seen a lot of players be released on the game at this later stage with that sort of thing happening. Uh, we did have Gareth Bale on Real Madrid, not on LAFC, but technically he wasn't an LAFC player yet. That's the only instance that I can think of in my mind right now of a card that's actually been released on the game that has had a team change. Everybody wants Rafinha to be PSG. That's what we want, right? Because a Brazil PSG card for links in the midfield, it's basically going to be like a Lucas Paqueta type card with five-star skills and probably with pretty insane stats. He's got a ton of traits as well. He's got flair trait, outside foot shot, technical dribbler, long shot taker trait. He does have the unique body, no, lean body type, sorry, lean body type, five foot nine. He would be really, really good in game. He's already got the four star weak foot and he would get five star skills if he wins. I think 99% of people want this to be a PSG card and there might not be any issues. It might be that, but I'm just kind of saying that there might, I think there's this much of a chance that EA messed up with the voting 
And I just don't know how all the right stuff works. That's all I'm saying. So if you voted for Rafinha, I think you're a part of the popularity vote. And I think he will be the card that does get an SBC on Friday. And I really hope it's PSG. I hope that I'm not reading into this too much. But we shall see. And so I think with this vote yesterday and with the other leaks that we have right now of the dynamic duo being leaked of uh, Mateus Cunha and um, what was the other guy's name? The left back, Renan Lodi, these two guys right here. It makes us think that this next week of footies is going to be Brazil based off of a nation and not a league. So that's kind of where our mindset is right now. We would, of course, look for more leaks maybe today on Thursday or some sort of a loading screen today. I think they would update a loading screen maybe today. I think there's like a 50-50 shot of that as well. Obviously, the loading screens happen often in the first week leading up to the first week of a promo. Hopefully, they add something in today because also we're kind of curious about how this could look for the market because once again, we talked about in yesterday's video, could, be, could it be a time to sell some players that are like team of the season cards that maybe um, would have some supply as they're released back in packs this weekend? That's what we'd be looking for today on a loading screen. If EA released uh, like a TOTS card design on the loading screen, we haven't had any foot captains re-released back into packs as well. So we're thinking that batch two of footies might be team of the seasons, some foot captains cards, and then some other sprinkled and special cards from earlier promos still throughout the year, probably some team of the weeks. Probably still some, um, you know, like future stars, foot fantasy, that sort of stuff. But I think batch two will feature more team of the seasons. A lot of your market is still doing pretty good. Now, the only thing that really moved on the market yesterday in relation to player prices was a little bit of supply came on the game because we had a footies voting day SBC, which gave us a tradable prime gold players pack, which basically everybody would want to go out and do. And how do we know this moved the market for sure? Well, we saw players that were in packs for batch one. A good example was some of our uh, fantasy foot cards, like Lucas Mora was somebody who I bought for my team yesterday, uh, having a Spurs squad, being a Spurs fan. I picked up Lucas Mora at 145,000 coins because he was 180K yesterday before that voting day SBC dropped, put some supply on the game, and it dropped his card price. Now, also, this impacted the SBC fodder market too, which is important heading into today on Thursday, because one of the biggest parts of content today is the 85 times 10 re-release. Yes, we did it on Monday and it's coming back today. As you can see here, repeatable zero times, but it's going to come back in 14 hours from when I'm recording this. It will be back today. We will all be able to do an 85 times 10 and an 86 plus player pick today on Thursday. Thursday, that's going to be the biggest part of content. I'm not expecting much else besides that and maybe throwback marquee matchup. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. But in relation to SBC fodder, some of your SBC fodder cards actually went down. Not much, but just a little bit, right? 84s were almost 6,000 coins. Now they're about 5.5K. Really, it's just small drops. 80, 85s actually had the biggest drop yesterday. Some of these guys were like 11, 11.5K. And now they are down at yeah, 12,000 coins with that supply. Nabry went down to 10. He did have a jump to 13. But now he's kind of back down to that 10,000 coin range. And I think some of your middle tier fodder is down just a couple thousand coins a card. Uh, like your 86s, your 87s. They were like 17, 18, 19. Now they're you know down in the 16 to 17 range. But specifically these 85s. And the 85 times 10 does require an 87 squad. So I would imagine that 84s, 85s, 86s would have another nice jump in price today. Even if we have a little bit of supply on the market from throwback marquee matchups, I think you would see a slight increase on the fodder market. And if you still have some of those cards, it would be a great time to get those out. Also, team of the week and team of the season cards will be required again today for this SBC. So if you have any of those, especially before a lot of team of the season cards might be coming back into packs, potentially might be a great time to sell those as they might start to get supplied again on this weekend that might be it just might be a good time to sell some of the fodder that you have if you still have it so that was kind of the situation with the fodder and with th those prices going down a little bit yesterday now just just to re just kind of talk again about the brazilian links if this week is going to be a week where brazilian links are kind of the king would you be like nate is it time to buy some brazilian cards like if they're going to be dropping some really nice cards, should I be buying some of these? Well, here's the thing. I think some of your Brazilians like Coutinho, like Danny Alves, like that Lucas Mora, I think they have a little bit of potential to rise out of packs uh, because I would not imagine that a card from batch one would also be in batch two. That's something that usually does not happen. So like if Coutinho is in packs this week, 
I don't think that he would be in packs next week, but it, it could happen. Um, and then you might be like, Nate, what about some uh, other like Tots cards or some Shapeshifter cards? I think it just kind of has to be on a, on a case by case scenario and we have to see what drops. I know so many people have even started to go out and buy this Militao card. Like his price keeps going up. Uh, what is he? 360K, 370 on the market. I still think that I would be selling this card because if he is re released back into packs, even if we have guys like Renan Lodi, Mateus Cunha dropping in this game, and maybe a Rafinha as well, more Brazilian links and more Brazilian center backs needed, yes, there's going to be a lot of demand. But what we have learned again on this game is that the supply is unmatched. When cards get re released back into packs, cards will drop. There will be panic selling when they see Tots cards back in packs as well. People will fear this card dropping and a lot of other Brazilian cards dropping as well, if that is the case. So, for that Militao specifically, I would be selling it. Now, again, like I mentioned, maybe a guy like Lucas Mora, maybe a Coutinho, maybe a Neymar. I think there's a few cards that are out there that you could potentially, potentially, if they get low today on Thursday, especially if it's like a buy for your team. This Neymar is decently rare. Coutinho is pretty rare. Lucas Mora is decently rare. You might be able to buy one or two if you put on your transfer list. If you're trying to make a few coins, watch some of those Brazilian specials. Uh, because Brazilian is just a hype league in FIFA it, or a hype nation in FIFA. It always is, right? Every time we get a Brazilian right wing SBC, like when we had, um, I forget, oh, Felipe Anderson, right? It, it destroyed a lot of other right wings just because people love the Brazilian right wings. People love using Brazilian cards in FIFA. So that's something you would maybe watch out for a little bit, not like for a guaranteed rise, but just something to kind of think through. Now, one Brazilian card that I would be very careful with is a card that a lot of people might think is a really good investment because he's one of the best Brazilian right backs in the game for the price. And he's five star, five star, and that is Danny Alves. Now here's the issue with Danny Alves, and this is gonna lead us into our next point of discussion right now, is this card was glitched on Friday when batch one first came out. And so he has got, whenever EA decide to fix their issue with Danny Alves, he's gonna get some more supply on the market. Uh, I don't know if I can find this tweet here, but they said, let's see, it was one of them. It's, it's just been so many mistakes this week, right? Earlier today, Danny Alves' rare gold player item was appearing in packs. This has been corrected and impacted players will receive a full birthday item in the coming days. As far as we know, they have not tweeted out saying that that compensation has been provided. So Danny Alves is going to have some more supply put on the game. His price, uh, he was like 190. He was like 180 earlier yesterday with the supply. Um, but unless like you see his, his card price dropped to like 150 or 160 K. Yeah. You see, he went from 207 down to 180. Now he's back up to 200. If I saw him at like, I, I you, again, you just don't know how much supply is going to be released, but like 150, 160, like the lowest that he has been since he's been re-released back into packs. If he goes that low, then potentially I would say that could be a pickup for your team or maybe a slight investment too if you wanted to do anything along those lines. Vinny would be another card that you might want to take a look at um, since he's dropped from 400,000 coins to 60K and his next card on the market still 1.9 mil, right? There's potential in there for a rise later on. I mean, he's down 10K from where he was last yesterday right now at 65K. So keep an eye on some of your Brazilian cards because that might be where some of the hype is turning later on this week. But now, like I mentioned, uh, there's been a lot of mistakes on, on FIFA recently. And one that I want to point out, and it kind of coincides with what's going on in the game today is foot champions qualifications. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, but a lot of people this week have played foot champs qualifiers. They get through however many games they need to get through to get their qualification done. They play, they get their four wins or five wins or whatever it is. And then they collect their token then they're done, right? And then they go back in here and it says that they still have to play and they can play through it again. There are a lot of issues right now with this game. Like it seems like EA is just saying, okay, we're talking about FIFA 23 now. So we're just saying screw FIFA 22 and for, we're forgetting about it and we're being lazy. Um, and we're going to talk about FIFA 23 in another video here very soon on the channel. So keep an eye out for that. If you want some more explanation on what went down with the trailer, with the new features, we're going to talk about that all later today on a double upload. There's a secret spoiler alert, but um, I think that this glitch right here, and actually if you, it's kind of behind my face cam, I'll hide it for a second, but the time, the champions finals, it says available one day, 16 hours, that counter actually takes us down to two hours after content on Friday, which is late for a start of weekend league. So this is glitched right now where people are able to play playoffs multiple times and they're not even sure if they're actually qualified. And also the champions final start time is off. 
and it's set basically to the time frame that we had during team of the season when they delayed the start, which is really not correct. And EA did not say anything about changing that time frame. So that this game is kind of all messed up right now. And again, not to mention the newest mistake from basically what happened yesterday was the big player pick at the end of the um, Premier League Cup, which is 26 wins. The one of four Tots, E-Figs, or Shapeshifters, or Hero Shapeshifters, 92 plus, is giving out gold cards. And EA tweeted just a few hours ago and said... Uh, let's see. We are aware the Footies Premier League Cup group reward contains incorrect player items. This is being corrected and impacted players will receive their correct rewards in the coming days. So how many things do we have wrong right now? We have the Footies Cup. We've got Foot Champs qualification. We have got the no 85 plus packs being redeemed yet. We have the Danny Alves mistake. Wasn't there something else? Oh yeah, Champions uh, Finals ranks 1, 2, and 3 were missing their player items. Hopefully we get some compensation today because... There are a lot of outstanding issues with EA Sports right now. And honestly, I hate to say it, but with the new season starting today, it might just keep happening, guys. It really might just keep happening because I remember the past couple of weeks when we drop into a new season, the past couple of months, there are issues when we get a new season with new season progress, new objectives and all that stuff added to the game. It somehow it seems to mess up. So just keep an eye on that today and just be careful, I guess, is what I would say. Um, if you're, you know, try, trying to get through your weekly qualification, I think if it's glitch for you and what I've been doing is I'm going to wait until after the reset today in a few hours and just see if any of this changes or if, if EA says anything about it, because there's just been a lot of mistakes lately, which is unfortunate, but it kind of is the way that it is. And, uh, we, we have to live with it because it's, uh, it's, it's kind of just happening like every single day. There's a new issue in this game right now, but hopefully that does stop. So again, I'm excited for the 85 times 10 today. It's the best value SBC. And we even said yesterday, like, yo, if you, um, if you're like down on fodder, if you're really down bad, this is the SBC that you want to be doing with your fodder because it's great value. You're going to get a lot of cards back. Um, and you're going to be able to do another SBC after doing the 85 times 10, just because you get 10 cards back instead of like one or two from a player pick. So also yesterday we had the Kingsley Komen card, which I ended up doing. It was a very interesting SBC item for them to release. They didn't upgrade his weak foot or his skill moves, but what they did end up doing is they give him new traits, finesse shot, flare, and flare passes, which I believe was a brand new, never seen before player trade. I did the SBC because it was very cheap, 100,000 coins to do, not bad. Uh, his card in game is solid. I think Luis Diaz is better. I think Abedi Pele, Insigne, I think all those guys as left wings are better. But if you're a Bayern fan, or if you needed Bundesliga French links in your team, this is a really good card. And he, I did score a very long range finesse shot with that new finesse shot trade on this card yesterday. So he is a very good card. If he had five star skills, I think he'd be great. I also think that he wouldn't have been as cheap. EA would not have made him as cheap if they would have given him that five star skill boost on the card. So that was kind of our content from yesterday. And once again, if you're still grinding out your objective tokens, um, the time is ending because once again, Monday is the final day we can turn those in, but we have all 50 tokens released. We did get a silver star yesterday and guess what? He was Brazilian. Even another piece of content leading up into footies week two that makes us think that footies week two might be related to the Brazilians. Also, I claimed my swaps rewards, the 84 times 25 and the 85 times 20. I am very excited to be opening those on tomorrow on Friday. I'm going to rip those open and hopefully get something sick from the batch two cards that we would expect to be in packs. I'm also going to keep doing some player picks, which one small thing that might even be a mistake as well. Take a look at this. The timer on the 82 plus player pick and the 80 plus Premier League player pick are off. It looks like the 82 plus player pick is going to be available in the game through Friday at 6 p.m. So as we're opening packs on Friday with the new batch that is going to be available, we will have a player pick SBC in the game to rinse into unless this timer changes. Watch out for this because that's huge on a Friday. We could build player picks after 6 p.m. on Friday and not have to try to build them before and save them. So keep an eye on this space as well because... We'll see if any of that changes, but that's kind of a rundown of what's going on in FIFA. That vote yesterday really started to get our minds looking towards the potential for a league not being league based and having more of a nation based. And also we have this one nation friendly that's been in here um, and it's not made any sense why they have had 
a one nation friendly. Maybe this is going to be re-upped this weekend and they're going to give us a objective that we'll have to play with one nation and use Brazilian players in. So we will have to see about that. But that's kind of the way things look to be trending right now on FIFA 22. Like I mentioned, a lot of FIFA 23 news from yesterday, like tons and tons of news. I'm sure you guys saw the trailer, you saw the pitch notes and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that people aren't talking about as well that I wanna make sure we cover in another upload on the channel today. But if you enjoyed today's video and if you're still enjoying footies, hit the thumbs up on the channel, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Happy Thursday. I will catch you guys later. Peace.